Well, my plan was to go whitefish fishing today, but um, this blizzard decided to put a damper in those plans. That's unfortunate. I haven't fished in three weeks. I'm in withdrawal. Hopefully I get to fish for whitefish sometime soon, but they're not going anywhere. And um, hopefully we'll get out here over Christmas, guys. Look at this. Look at this beautiful winter wonderland. I'm excited for today. We're fishing a brand new piece of water for me. We're also fishing for something I haven't targeted yet in British Columbia, and that is whitefish. Um, I started fishing in Alberta, and uh, I think whitefish are highly underrated. Um, and so we're on a piece of water today that does hold whitefish. It also may hold some cutthroat, as well as some salmon in this uh, slow water right behind me here. If you're lucky, you might also see there's about a dozen eagles flying around all over this place. It's beautiful, the wind is low, the rain has stopped, <clears throat> and uh, I'm just waiting for this gate to get open so we can go fishing, guys. I'm just hanging out with my coffee, guys, waiting for waiting for 9.30 to roll around, I guess. I was hoping this thing would get opened a, a little bit earlier, but it seems on the weekend they take their sweet, sweet time. Eagle on that tree right there. Oh, there's an eagle up here. Uh, there's a little bit of land down there, which I'm guessing has some salmon carcasses. It's got like five eagles. Oh, this is incredible. I've never seen so many eagles. Oh my goodness. They're on every treetop almost. The place is just overrun with eagles. I see a sign down here on the road that says, Open daily, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I call bullshit. This is normally a kind of so I'm filming today, oh that, that was bad, as a uh, unboxing day. And then we've had a ton of rain, atmospheric river, the last three days, up, up until and during Christmas. So I expect this creek is going to be brown as brown can be. <laughs> it's brown. I think this might be stripping dark streamers kind of uh, water. Yeah, I have a little drop shot egg going on. That's nice and vibrant, so I might try that. Yeah, just curious, like, you Yeah, I'll give you uh, first choice if you want to like split it into two. Sure. Nice walking speed water though. Just a question of whether or not any fish can see what I'm throwing. And I should probably dial in the length a little bit. Oh, that's nice. I think I was hitting weeds there. Yeah, I hit weeds right away. Now we have the. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can get this back. This whole area is kind of. Gotta be careful where you step. Oh. oh no, I just lost my indicator. That really sucks. Wow, that was a that was a really weak knot, I guess. Okay, five minutes later, guys. Um, I've tied on some more 3X onto my tippet ring. Made another drop shot rig here. It is so brown. I think the water in the uh, white fish spot we were at was really nice because it, uh, well, I don't want to blow up exactly where it is. Let's just say the water would not be affected nearly as much by the rains. I think it's time to stop throwing the indicator because this water is just too off color and do what I would do on the Bow River in the same circumstance. Just fish dark colored streamers. I 
think I was listening to Tom Rosenbauer last week, maybe two weeks ago on my way to a failed fishing session due to egregious amounts of snowfall. And he said, uh, he was talking about streamers, and he was saying, what self-respecting bait fish would swim upstream when it's being chased? None of them. They all swim downstream, so when you're fishing streamers in a, a run, you want to fish upstream and then strip back downstream. Try to mimic that natural bait fish action. That's what I'm going to try. This fish? Oh wow, is that a salmon? It's like in half an inch of water. Oh yeah, he's a chum. Yeah. Wow, good for him, he's still going. Him or her. Right there, guys. See that? Oh, he's, he's eating. It looks like he's eating off the top. What a goofball. <laughs> well, proof of life. There you go. I'd say the other change that I personally make when I'm casting these uh, sink tips is I don't I don't go as far down. I go more like up to the sky because that the weight kind of auto corrects itself. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna head home. Someday I'm gonna go whitefish fishing. God, I hope it's soon. Now it's just bugging me. We tried and we failed to catch fish again. <laughs> it feels like the world is conspiring against me to fish this one location and to go whitefish fishing. I don't get it, man. Someone, something, the weather, BC, the world, something does not want me to go whitefish fishing. I don't get it, but I'm stubborn. If you watch my channel, you know I'm pretty stubborn. So I'm gonna get there. It kind of sucks that the spot that I want to fish is uh, so severely limited by parking. If you park on the streets there, you will get ticketed or towed. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to this uh, brown water journey and uh, yeah, hope you guys had a really good Christmas. I hope you have a happy new year. This will be out after New Year's, but anyway. Still, appreciate you guys watching my videos. And uh, yeah, all the best in 2023. I think it's gonna be a good year. I think it's gonna be a good year for me and my family. I hope it'll be the same for you and yours. Cheers, guys. See you next time. Bye. This just about sums up my day.